before we start this, guys. Go and help yourself while you take the first bite. Shirts are a nice one. Let's bake some baguettes. I got two cups of water here, two, one tablespoon of active dry yeast. I'm gonna feed this yeast with one tablespoon of sugar, salt, and one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna let this yeast sit for five minutes. After five minutes, throw in three cups of flour. Make sure it's a nice soft dough, guys. <laughs> I always look for a nice soft dough. I actually don't have a right measurement for this. I just go by feel. I'm gonna do four cups of flour. And that's how I bake, guys. Once you get your dough into a nice soft dough all around, I'm gonna give this a pat, throw a towel on it, throw it under a warm area for two hours. Since we're making baguettes, guys, I wanna make it Vietnamese style. Two pounds of ground pork here, one tablespoon of garlic. I was just gonna cook this down, but I wanna make some meatballs. So, Vietnamese pork meatballs. One tablespoon of fish sauce, a tablespoon of sugar, cayenne, paprika, salt and pepper, half a cup of shredded carrots. Secret ingredient, guys, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Get that mix. Getting a little hungry, guys. I don't know if I can wait for that bread to poof. Shred the rest of this carrot. I got some leftover cabbage as well. Leftover udon noodles here. Splash a little water in there. One tablespoon of hoisin sauce. Tablespoon of this. La grandma sauce or grandma sauce. Just a bit of fish sauce in. Put some of this in the bowl. Just half of it, guys. Other half for later. Check out these scissors my sister got me. No more knives ever. You get the perfect chop every time with these scissors. <laughs> Stir this up. Let's eat. Drink guys, I just got this peach mango cocktail. Take the first sip of this. Quick time. I just got it. Nice. Delicious. All right, let's eat. This is why I love stir fries. Stir fry anything, throw anything inside. Use up all of your leftovers. Guys, take the first bite of this. Quan stir fry noodles. You guys got it. Quick time. Quick time, guys. Nice. Mmm. <laughs> Wow. Lao Ga Ma sauce. <laughs> Best thing ever. Throw that on some noodles or some rice. Mmm. Wow. Udon noodles. Can be eaten in soups or stir fry. I love the stir fry though. Mm. It's a beautiful day, guys. Beautiful day to finally bake. Mm. Wow. Just perfect. I want to shake Lao Ga Ma's hand. Or grandmother's sauce hand. <laughs> she makes a good sauce. Wow. That's love. Braddy kitty. Braddy kitty. <laughs> You're so bratty kitty. Are you ready to go? Come here. Come here. Are you ready to go? Huh? Huh, kitty? Were you waiting all day? Huh? Look at that hair of yours, kitty. Right? You're waiting all day? Yes. Ready to go? Let's go. One and a half.
half hour later, we're gonna take our rice scooper <laughs> and we're gonna gently take it out. We're gonna leave it. Do not need this bubble. We're gonna portion it out to even slices. I have a little oil in my hand. Just gonna press this down, pound it. Roll and pinch. So I'm gonna roll this out into the famous, iconic Vietnamese baguette. Fatter in the middle and thinner on the outside. Hey this guys, you don't need no fancy proofing sham or container. Just put it where the sun is. Two hours after, it has proof. Take your knife, and we're just gonna score it down. I'm gonna throw down some semolina flour. Or transfer our baguette over. Into the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's halfway through this baking process. I'll take my water and I'm gonna spray on top of the baguette. This will help it get its crusty top there. Bake this for 20 to 25 minutes, guys. 20 to 25 minutes is up, and you got your French baguette. Let that cool, throw it in another batch. It's definitely an art in making the French baguette. Shout out to all the bakers, shout out to the French, the home cook bakers, shout out to all the crazy mom bakers, dad bakers, kids bakers, shout out to anybody who bakes. I just have so much more respect for you guys. I have a lot of respect for bakers already, but baking these guys, I just have so much more respect for you guys. There's a lot of time, process, patience, and baking. From the looks of all of it, I kind of like this one. This one looks legit. This one looks like the Vietnam one. Let's roll out our pork meatball. Just gonna let that sear. Once I got a nice sear on that, I'm gonna throw in a little water and throw in a lid. I'm gonna cook this for six to eight minutes. One little spicy mayonnaise into this. So I got two tablespoons of vegetable oil in, chili flakes. One cup mayonnaise, vinegar, one and a half tablespoon of sugar, salt, pepper, chili oil here, which I'm just gonna strain in one tablespoon of it. Mix. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I even strain that out. Throw that chili in there. I say this, guys. Always stay when me ready. <laughs> so we got pickle, carrots, and daikon, diced cucumber, coriander, or cilantro. We got our mayonnaise, and we got our meatballs. Let's set this up. How light and airy that is. I just want to sleep in that. <laughs> Anybody that says they make the best button me out there, I'm gonna tell you guys to tell them to come see Quantrad. Tell them to come see me. Boom. The daikon. Number. Here we got our coriander. Let's get into this, guys. This is Bun Mi Guam Tran. Take a first bite of this, guys. Quick time. Yes, got it. Nice. That's good. But I didn't get any meat. Wow. <laughs> Just look at that bread, guys. Right? That's what's up. I'm coming after any bun me joint that's here in my city. Hmm. Mm. 
I'm gonna say best bun beer I ever had. Ever. Vietnam. Edmonton. Come after me. Mmm. Talk about. This is love. This is love. Mm. Mm. I like that last part there. You know it's going to be crispy. Well, oh. Wrong you. <laughs> Guys, come over. Got some bun mi. Nong dai. <laughs> Sausage. A cucumber. Cilantro. Pack it in. Guys, just half of this. Let's get into this. Half of the bun B, guys. Take the first bite of this. Yes, got it. Nice. I set myself up with a good bite here. Mmm. God, love. Do you know what love is? This is love. If only I can share this with you guys. I would. Mmm. This right here. Nothing beats fresh ingredients and fresh baked bread. Nothing. Mmm. <laughs> and again, someone who claims that their bun me is inferior, <laughs> take a trip with me. <laughs> Tell them to come see me. Tell them to come see me. To drink, guys, we got that mango juice nectarine thing again. <laughs> yeah, it's got it. Nice. Wow. I know I said half, but what else am I gonna do with this other half, guys? Pack it? Come on. I kind of feel like more of that mayonnaise would be bombs. Guys, here. The other half of this. Quick time. Mmm. Take a trip with me, guys. <laughs> That's just love. Look at that back bread of there. That beautiful crust. Such a beautiful thing. The pickled carrots, daikon, the fresh cucumber. I want to say the minty cilantro, but it's not even minty. I can't even explain it. The herbally cilantro, the mayonnaise, the spicy sweet mayonnaise, the seasoned pork. Can't be beat. Mmm. I got that bag there. <laughs> wow. It's an art. This is art. Shout out to the French who invaded Vietnam. 
but left some awesome things like the French baguette. I'm not even sure if I should shout the French out. No, shout out to the French. <laughs> Who we taught the Vietnamese the baguette and the crepes or the bun sale. Mmm. That is love. Best bun me ever. I have to open shop. I'm doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up one you take the first bite. Shirts or a nice one. Like, share this. Peace out.